Hi, welcome back to the Spirit Lounge. I'm glad you're all you've all tuned in today. I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, first of all, before we uh, discuss uh, the uh, the video today and the topic of the video, I just want to say thank you so much to Colette Clairvoyant, whose uh, book review I posted on my channel, and also uh, I want to say um, thank you to her for being so gracious. Her comments really, really did touch me. Um, I wasn't expecting her to say what she did and actually her words resonated so deeply because they vibrated the intent of why the book was written. So I'm really happy to know that um, that intention is actually received and felt by those who do read it. And um, I think I've had a few more subscribers from her channel since that book review and so I'm really grateful to those who have subscribed. and. Uh, Thank you again for um, taking the time to come over and uh, check out one or two videos and um, clearly finding them somewhat worth, some, somewhat um, useful and um, um, providing something to reflect upon and thanks for subscribing. So, um, today's video, well it's not going to be on any new subject, um, I'm going to answer a question which was posted, uh, the first comment to the video of last week which was um, does source intervene and it was posted by um, a special person Imelda I'll just call you out now um, and her question was and I'm paraphrasing here because I don't have the question the uh, comment in front of me but it's effectively she was disagreeing with the comment because it felt like I was um, suggesting that uh, the divine the spirit um, doesn't assist us at all what about our individual journeys and um, looking back on the video, I probably didn't make that very clear, and so thanks for that comment. Um, I do like comments, um, indifferent, positive, negative, questioning. They're all great because it allows me to um, extend these videos out to things that you guys want to listen to. So yeah, if you want, if you want to add more questions and comments to these videos, it's, I do read them all, and I will answer everything that's uh, posted if there's a question there. And um, if you suggest any topic or area that you wish to dis wish to cover, then I'll do that too. So to answer that question, so first of all, yeah, there's two parts to um, to what I was trying to say last week. Uh, the first first uh, part of the answer uh, to this to this comment was, yeah, there are two streams of um, activity, two streams of uh, development and, and expansion that we go through. And the most pro most important one is the individual, your journey. And that's what these videos, videos are all about. This channel is all about, it focuses on, it's your journey. Um, and during that journey, and even before and during life and throughout life, um, many of us, even the most atheist and agnostic amongst us, nihilist amongst, amongst us, will at times uh, look upon the metaphorical heavens above and ask for assistance sometimes. Uh, so I do question what they truly think, feel deep, deep inside. But uh, the individual journey, you are always helped and guided by the divine, by source, by spirit, by simply being guided by spirit, which we call the universe. Commonly, the universe is listening. The universe has presented something that I needed. The universe is actually source and source is spirit. Source, source is your spirit guides. They're all the um, um, etheric energies that surround you, that assist you, that are, that are next to you every second minute hour of every day. You just simply need to ask. Those are source because everything is part of source. Um, they're your guides, they're your guardians, they're the spirit realm itself which assists you throughout life. So yes, to answer that question, the individual is assisted, is guided um, to what they need for their expansion and also what they persistently ask for. Those energies create um, your timelines and pathways to those things, so be careful what you ask for materially uh, and otherwise, because you just might get it. But to answer the question, yes, the divine spirit it does assist you if you ask. You just need to reach out and ask into the silence of, this, of, of the empty space, which is not really empty. Your words are always heard. It's simply love that surrounds you and that's what guides you individually. 
to what you need, to assistance that you ask for in life, the guidance you ask for in life, the, the crossroads, the people, the signs, synchronicities, numbers, symbols, events, people, places. These are all things that are presented to us as guidance, as, um, as uh, pointers to the pathway that we're asking to be going on or the pathway we're supposed to be on. So with that respect, yes, we are, we are absolutely guided in our individual paths, in our individual lives, by grace, by the divine, by source. And that, that is actually your spirit, the spirit realm, the, your spiritual guides that are around you all the time, that follow you through life and assist you when you ask them to. So, that, in, so to answer that part of the question, yes, you are. The divine, the divine or source through those, through the spiritual realm, through the guides, through our guardians, through our um, the, those, those we cannot see with our five material senses who walk alongside us throughout life, assist us. And by assisting us, source is assisting us because everything is source. So, for all intents and purposes, source is assisting us in our individual lives. That is true. So also has assisted me through my guides and my uh, signs, synchronicities, synchronicities, numbers, symbols, events, people, places, um, just things I've seen constantly. So therefore, for me, they are my guides, they are my spiritual guardians, they are those that assist me and have guided me upon this path and forced it to occur. The uh, purpose, my own individual purpose, which you guys will discover your own too. Um, and thereby source has assisted me. So yes, that does happen. What I was trying to explain on the video last week was that um, beyond the individual individual pathway, um, the collective experience that we have on this planet, the, the world that we see around us and the, that we're constantly observing um, isn't wholly um, negative because we just don't see the positives. We don't see the good things that people do with their hearts, through their hearts, and through their emotions and their, and their spiritual practices, and do good for others. We don't often see that, but the but the um, the negative aspects overwhelm all the positive ones, and they seem to affect our lives. That collective human experience is for us to fix. It's for humanity to fix. And what I was trying to explain on my video of last week is that, that that salvation is not going to come from anything external that anyone may be waiting for. It's going to be a very futile exercise and it's going to lead to disappointment. There has never been any first coming and there won't be a second. There isn't going to be any uh, divine intervention into the human species experience. Um, there isn't going to be any non-terrestrial life form coming to save humans from themselves. Only we, as human experiences, can, ex can move and shift humanity to a better direction. And that does happen through our individual movements. It doesn't happen by looking across um, the doorway or the floor or the room to another or to the side to somebody else it, we only need to concentrate on our individual expansion and change because that is all that's needed each person needs to focus on their own expansion and movement towards what i call grace the divine and reconnect with what we've suppressed and lost in the human experience to allow us to move towards individually a higher frequency of vibration away from our mental and mind egoistic intellectual um, uh, pedestals our state where we think everything has to be through mind and start moving into our hearts and our spirit and that's how collectively this world experience will change because it will direct your external actions your external perceptions your external view of the ideologies, doctrines, mantras, movements. Um, there's just a myriad of things out there that for those who are in mind and in ego, those movements will shift you. They will be your guide. You will not be your own guide. 
by shifting inward and becoming connected and gaining inward strength, peace, harmony, contentment and leading your life through grace and allowing that to, that to guide you, that will change your own path. And if enough sufficient people do that, it will change the trajectory of human, of the collective human experience. So that individual path that we discussed, the divine will absolutely assist you. It will assist you in everything you ask for in your prayers and your silent times. Your words are always heard. Your thoughts are always heard. Your intentions are always recorded. Remember, everything is heard. Um, just go inside and go with, uh, uh, attach or communicate to what you believe is external through your internal. Um, and then it will be heard and you'll be helped. You'll be assisted every second minute hour of every day, every physical day in a linear time that we experience here. Um, but don't wait for a, a second coming. Don't wait for salvation from another. The words of those that we deem as being uh, Yeshua, Buddha, Krishna, anyone else um, were words that are supposed to be heard and implanted within each individual heart of each individual human experiencer within, and the spirit within their avatar. And we were supposed to cascade those around the world to each other from wherever they were seated so that we would change individually and cascade out. Unfortunately, they were all manifested into organized religions and faiths for whatever reason. And those that the purpose of those organized religions and faiths and fixed doctrine, indoctrinated by belief systems and ideologies and philosophies, even, even New Age, um, lost their purpose because they're distracted from, it's just a simple truth. The universe is actually sim simple, but mathematically precise. Source is simple. It has universal laws that govern everything. So we need to um, shift inward and allow guidance to be given to us from there, but not look and seek um, for source itself or anything to come and, and uh, give itself for the sins of humanity again, because that didn't happen the first time. We've not changed since um, um, since um, since the time of Christ. We haven't changed. We are simply just wearing different clothes, carrying different technology, and we are massacring each other and, and injustices in different ways. We truly haven't changed that much, and that's only because we have lost connection. I would say in those days we had more connection. People weren't so mentally preoccupied but they were just much more easily led but they were open open to spiritual to the spiritual connections of the time I would say these days we're not we're more connected to um, our technological gods and the material things in life have become our gods have become our guides and mental intellectualism has become um, really um, has made us blind so um, I hope that answers the question. Um, I didn't want to make today's video very long. Um, please ask any questions. If I haven't answered the question, um, I will try to do so again. And maybe I'll write it into the comment section if I haven't. But um, I hope this explains it a little bit better. Um, but so thanks again all for listening. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thank you, Colette, again. Um, and um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos and the ones I've posted in the past. And if there's anything that you guys, that anybody would like me to focus a video on, uh, any subject, anything at all, I will do so. And if you leave any comments, I will answer them. So uh, please like and subscribe and share. It's all about sharing. I do um, ask if you could share this to as many people as possible who you feel would benefit from it. Um, if you feel uh, um, inclined to buy the book, um, it does expand on these concepts and my videos going forward in a little bit more depth there's a lot crammed into uh, 300 pages um, so it will take it's a kind of more of a study book than it is uh, just a quick read on a train you won't really get much out of it if uh, if you read it as a as a, just a preoccupation while you're traveling you really you really need to read it with your silent mind and um, connect to it through your heart um, it's not a mental intellectual book it's something that needs to be connected to from your inner space. 
So thanks again, guys, and um, have a great um, rest of the weekend, uh, what's left of it uh, for some of you, and I'll talk to you again. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye-bye.